After a lightning strike close to the house, a socket with a GFI was not working. It would not reset, so I replaced it. The line through this socket goes outside to my driveway lights on columns at the end of the driveway. All the lights, six of them, were blown out. I replaced the lights. Everything works now, but the GFI continues to trip, every several days. When I reset it, it's good for a few days. Then I notice the driveway lights not working, and the GFI is tripped. Any suggestions? Hello. My name is have questions that need answers. I will have questions that need answers to answer your questions so please be patient. I have heard of this before. Why the GFCI has such a delay myths me but the wire going from the GFCI to the lights are more than likely damaged. If the lightning hit the wiring then it will have a spot or several spots where the insulation has swelled or burned of the copper conductors and it is now causing a short. Look into how the wires travel to the lights. If it is in pipe then it will be easy to replace. If it is UF cable then you will need to install all new wire in the ground. Disconnect the wires from the GFCI to the lights and see if there is still a problem. If not, then you know the wire in the gown is bad. Now that I see that you are online, I can ask you some questions. Is the wire in a pipe underground? How many lights are on this circuit? Richie. Also, look at it this way. Those lights are not required to be on a GFCI so you can acutely bypass the lights and wire them directly if there is no damage to the wires. You have some testing to do in this case. I had to go look to be sure. The wiring is in a pipe, which goes to an outlet on the brick column and then to the driveway lights on top of the columns. You can do a couple of things. 1. Disconnect the wires from the GFCI and bypass the wiring. 2. Estimate the total amperage of all the lights so that we know you are not having problems with overcurrent protection. 3. If you have a meter, check the continuity, the hot wires to ground to see if there is any evidence of a short. Thanks, Richie. That's very helpful. I am getting slow feedback so I am going to give you some more ideas. Seeing that the wires are in pipes, then if the wires are damaged, it will be easy to replace. Get a string and tie it on the end of the wires and pull the wires out. Now you have a string in the pipe to pull in new wires if needed. Check the wire you just pulled out and look for burns or damage. If damaged, replace them. If no damage pull them back in. I want to give you as many options that I can so that you can do this yourself and save money. Thanks, Richie. Can you go from here? I've got some work to do. Thanks. 10-4 Good luck. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.